Hey guys, I'm Shreyan from Skyle Studios. I'm a social media specialist, a graphic designer, and I do a little bit of 3D modeling as well. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Shreyan Bhopay. So today I'm modeling this scene. 90% of the materials used uh, in this scene are procedural, so you guys can learn a few of them as well. So I'm using one material for the cloth, which I'll have a link in the description below. And uh, if you guys create this scene, make sure you guys send it to me, because I'd love to see your work. So let's get on with this video. Okay, so create a plane. Bring it up, scale it in the y axis, and create a sphere, scale it down, bring it up, scale it down a little more, duplicate it, and scale it down, duplicate it again, and create a select all three and scale it in the z axis move those two a little bit up and subdivide the plane about 20 times yeah and select this sphere add a collision to it and make the upper plane a cloth and i'm gonna name it cloth and Uh, might subdivide it one more time and simulate it add a subdivision surface modifier to make it look smooth so you guys can see the cloth is going through each other so for that go to cloth settings look for self collision and take it and simulate it again and there you go and I'm gonna scale it in the x-axis a little bit as well and simulate it again yeah. and right click shade smooth save it and go to shading create a new material name it main cloth or something that's what I named it and make it dark gray save it again and now we're gonna make some holes in the cloth so for that add a noise texture and a color ramp and click to the alpha if you have node rank add on uh, enabled you can uh, click shift control shift to preview and drag the black and the white together and just play with it uh, so the black part is going to be a hole so when you plug it into the alpha you can play with the scale and the detail of the noise texture to get the kind of holes you want in your clothes so this looks like it's good for me textures.com i'll put the links in the description below i'm gonna download these textures and add a bump map plug it to the normal and add an image texture plug the color to the height and control t if you have the node wrangle add on or you can I sh uh, I've shown you guys how to uh, enable it in one of my pre in my previous videos. Go to the material and select the roughness material, and go to the materials and select the height map. Increase the scale to about eight. Make the 
color space non color data and yeah material is about 8 scale and I'm going to decrease the strength to about 0 0.5 and I'm going to add a circle scale it up a bit go to edit mode and extrude it E and R to rotate and scale, go to edit mode and scale it down a bit and going to add a different material to it decrease the roughness and increase the metallic value to about 1 and add bump map plug it to the normal add a warner texture and plug the distance to the height add a mass grave texture and the factor to the vector and increase the scale to about 80 and select the circle and control 2 add the subdivision surface modifier or go to add modifiers and do it that way duplicate it scale it down a bit rotate it so that it looks a bit different from the one in the bottom go to render view just to see I'm gonna add an area lamp actually I'm gonna make it a spot lamp and increase the strength to about 150 go to cycle uh, device I'm gonna make it CPU GPU add a uh, area lamp as so the lighting is actually the most important part in this scene that it's what makes the scene looks really good so I'm gonna increase the strength to about 100 in the area lamp which is going to act as a backlight so yeah I'm gonna adjust the lights a bit make it look a little bit good so you guys can see I've made the world settings black so everything is black I'm gonna add a point lamp in the bottom and increase the power to about 50 and change the color and I'm gonna place my camera now and add a plane this is going to be our background so I'm gonna scale it back adjust it according to our camera and so I'm gonna hide the cloth just to get more viewport performance Can add a new material to the background plane so this is going to be a little tricky so I'm gonna create a bump map plug it to the normal and create a warner texture plug it to the height and distance to edge scale to about 5 or 4.9 I'm gonna change the color to a dark color just search for mapping a mapping node and a texture coordinate node plug the uh, create a noise texture and plug the object to the vector and detail make the noise texture scale 2 and detail to about 7 and add a mix texture plug the object to the bottom color slot and increase the factor to about 7 with the mix RGB node And and I'm going to duplicate the nice texture 
and increase the scale to about 19 or 20 details too add another mix RGB node and plug it in between and plug the object so I'm going to save it again plug the mix RGB nodes color to the mix color node of mix RGB node of the previous one and uh, we're going to make it about 0.8 I'm going to add a color ramp in between the bump and the boundary texture and get it really close. So this is to your preference. I want small cracks in my plane to look really detailed so that's what I went with. and I'm going to add another bump now and I'm going to plug it to the normal create a warner texture plug the distance to the height and make it distance to edge scale to about 150 Create a mask wave texture and a mix RGB node. Plug the warning texture to the bottom color node, color slot, and okay, it's getting slow now. And plug the mask wave texture to the color, increase the clay, uh, scale to about six, nine. Control T, mapping node, and plug the object to the vector. Create a noise texture, and a mix RGB node. Plug the object to the color again, and play the factor a bit. And scale to about 150. There you go. I'm going to add a color ramp and plug it to the base color and plug it, plug the material we just created to the factor as well and I'm going to change the colors to the colors I want the texture to look like there you go so it'll take some time to load and decrease the strength to about 0 0.5 and it's can't even see it on EV. Then, yeah, when you go to cycles, render view, you can see the texture. And that's how it looks. I'm gonna create another plane, and I'm gonna create some curtains, add some loop cuts create those edges and push them back a bit and subdivide it about 10 times and scale in the x axis scale it down and save the scene always remember to save the scene and make it a cloth and i forgot to create the pin so go to the vertex group and create a pin and go to shape and pin at the vertex group we just created and go back change the color increase the metallic slider and I'm gonna add a force field a turbulence I'm going to I'm going to apply the cloth simulation as a shape key and if you guys select that plane go to shape keys and make it one you can see the simulation is now baked in as a shape key and I'm gonna hide it now I'm gonna create a wind force field turn it 
in the x-axis subdivide the cloth material strength of the wind is not that strong enough so I'm gonna increase the strength a bit to about 100 and now you can see uh, how it behaves then make it about 50 yeah 50 is good I'm gonna leave it like that and apply the cloth as shape key as well and increase it delete the force fields duplicates curtains and um, make the shape keys about 0.8 and duplicate again and change the other one as well and I'm gonna duplicate those three and SX minus one to flip it and push the curtains a bit towards the plane and I'm gonna duplicate the area lamp and rotate it so we have some light in the curtains and scale it in the z-axis increase the strength to about 500 or make it a little less as well change the color so play with the lights a bit until you get something satisfying lights are actually the most important part in the scene so you guys can get a real nice look with the lights And I'm gonna add a cube to add some atmosphere to the scene. I'm gonna make it a principal volume shader. the density to about 0 0.001 and increase the emission to about 001 and create a noise texture and plug it to the emission color and scale it and then disorder it to about 10 add a color ramp no uh, yeah plug it over there uh, you can't see it because wait hold on Oh yeah, you had to plug the volume to the volume and then you can see the volume but you're seeing it's going to be very slow. So right now my PC is struggling a bit so I'm going to go to normal, normal view and increase the sound pulse to about 200 and save the scene and now you can render so you guys can play with the lights, the lights a bit and get something better than this um, so don't forget to tag me if you guys make this scene all right guys that's it for this video hope you guys liked it uh, if you have any questions leave a comment below and subscribe to this channel i'll be doing a lot more abstract scenes in the future so thank you guys see you